y'all what's good beautiful people it's your girl tay and i'm here yet again with another update video so definitely make sure you guys smash that like button comment down below subscribe then push your post notification bell button so that way anytime i upload a video you will be notified all right so jumping right into things i am looking at my screen so if it looks like i'm looking away from you guys i'm not um i wanted to talk about what's going on with these payments that are going to be coming out soon i do see a 325 dollars august tax rebate um, that's going to be coming out, and I think this is in the state of Indiana. It says, although a paper shortage stalled the first round of rebate checks, Indiana officials have confirmed the money is now on its way. However, the total amount of the check will vary based on how individuals file their taxes. So if you are an individual taxpayer, you'll receive $325, uh, while married couples filing jointly will get $650. So basically, it'll be double. And then we have those who have yet to receive their 125 automatic taxpayer refund should expect to see their checks in a matter of weeks okay a shortage of paper on which the checks were meant to be printed prevented them from going out as scheduled okay so i think in a situation like this then you guys should have done debit cards but However, Emily Bolson, a spokesperson for the state's auditor office, said checks can start going out as early as the week of August the 15th, which is today, you guys. Happy Monday. It's today, August the 15th. It includes not only taxpayer refunds, but also the $200 payment recently signed off by Governor Eric Holcomb. The two payments will be combined into one check. Okay, Bolson added that there are roughly 1.7 million checks to be printed. The auditor's office expert expects to print 50,000 of the checks per day, which will take 24 to 48 hours to get through the mail. Okay, so you guys already know how I feel about mail. You never know, even though they're saying it's going to take about one to two days for you to receive your checks. I would always say give them more. Give them three to five business days before you start freaking out and calling and seeing what's going on. The state aims to have all the checks printed and mailed out by October of this year. Okay um i think that is pretty much it for that just wanted to let you guys know of that now there's some additional information in this article about other states that are also giving out money so i kind of wanted to review that with you guys and i'm going to get out of this one and go to the next article that i have here this one is talking about 600 dollars checks and this is for illinois um so illinois had actually i want to say approved this to send you guys these 600 hundred dollar checks in april of this year your governor jp jb pritzkers um, approved this way back when um, it's supposed to be a one-time individual income tax and property tax rebate that will be issued to those who meet the criteria criteria is in order for residents to be eligible for the checks they must have paid illinois property taxes in 2021 on their primary residence residents who qualify for the program will receive a rebate equal to the property tax credit claimed on their 2021 illinois 1040 form the maximum amount of the rebate in this case is only 300 dollars okay their gross income must also be 500000 or less if filing jointly or 250000 or less if filing alone, okay? But that's not the only money headed to Illinois families this fall, as many uh, will also receive income tax-based payments. I'm sorry about my hand, y'all. Um, according to the NBC Chicago, the maximum payment that can be received through this part of the program is $300, uh, $100 per dependent, per dependent per dependent um, with maximum of three dependents, okay? The checks are set to begin going out on September the 12th. So a little bit less than a month and you guys should be getting those checks, okay? Um, in Illinois controller Susanna Mendoza, whose office is managing the process, says distribution will take around eight weeks for everybody in total, okay? Everybody in total who's supposed to get these payments, give it about eight weeks before you start again calling in because I know how y'all do because I do it too. Property owners can still receive the rebate as long as they fill out the Illinois 1040 form by October the 17th. So if you have not done that as of yet, you definitely want to do that. There's a lot of money that's going to be going out. I know that every state isn't doing it, but for those of you who are in state that are lucky enough to have their governor sending you guys these payments for whatever the reason may be, I think you should take advantage. Whatever document you need to have filled out, you need to go ahead and uh, take that into consideration, okay? Um, is this for this week? We have some more money going out in Illinois. I'm not, I'm not sure when it's going to go out. Okay, here we go. So, not Illinois, Hawaii. Then we have Hawaii set to get a one-time tax refund within weeks. Individuals making less than 100000 annually will receive a $300 rebate. 
uh, those with income over the threshold but under two hundred thousand can get at least a hundred dollars not a lot but it's something a family of four could pocket a refund worth one thousand two hundred dollars according to the hawaii's department of taxation the refunds are expected to be sent out during the last week of august okay so we've got just about two weeks left left before those checks will go out and they are paper checks it says paper checks will take longer to arrive um yeah, so just letting you guys know, which is why I just told you guys for the other states, sorry, I'm, I'm logging in over here, just to make sure that you give them ample amount of time because even though they're uh, promising and hoping that these checks and these payments will go out around a certain time and, and be able to get everything done within a certain time frame, they don't have any control over what's going on with the United States Postal Service. So just be aware of that when you guys are looking for the checks. Um, families in Connecticut uh, had until July the 31st to apply for child tax credits worth up to $250 per child in a household with the maximum amount residents can receive being $750. Any Connecticut parent who claimed at least one child 18 years or younger on their 2021 taxes can get the child tax credit. Governor Ned Lamont said he expects payments to be sent out in August. I don't see any specific payout pay date. Just know that they should have already started this month, okay? I'm going to exit out of that. I think there was one more article talking about money. I wanted to give you all some money news today. Um, this is, hold on, $200 payments. What state is this? Give me one moment. This is Indiana. Did I just talk about Indiana? I think I just talked about Indiana, but I'm not sure. Yeah, so I did just talk about Indiana. The checks in Indiana are going to be going out August the 15th, which is today. And it looks like that is all for that. So let's check on other news and see if there's anything interesting over there. See if I can give you all a little bit of tea this morning. How was your weekend? Let me know down below what you guys did this weekend. I feel refreshed and um, I'm a little off this morning. But more than that, I my babies were here. And so I'm definitely happy about that. Okay. Let's see here interesting news here so there's a new poll that finds that 50 per 53 percent of gop voters would back trump in 2024 and 72 percent of democrat of democrats would back biden y'all let me know how you feel about this i don't know I, I really honestly haven't been following too much of what's going on with uh the previous president because i don't care um but I do want to let you guys know, for those of you who don't watch news, like I don't watch news, I read articles from time to time, but I'm not really a person that sits there and watch news unless it's something significant on the large scale. But it says, as Donald Trump weighs whether and when to continue his official campaign for a bid at re-election in 2024, a recent poll suggests that he's the favorite Republican nominee if the GOP primary was to be held today. And this article actually came out quite a while ago. This was 26 days ago, published by The End Independent. In a new poll conducted by Politico and Morning Consult, 53% of respondents who identified as being Republican voters or leaning that way politically said they would vote for the former U.S. president uh, to represent the GOP ticket in 2024. Few of the other 16 Republican candidates suggested as possible frontrunners gained more than 1% of the respondents' support. Florida Governor Ron DeSantis secured second to the one-term president with 23% ahead of former Vice President Mike Pence with 7% and Texas Senator Ted Cruz with 3%. Behind those four were Mitt Romney, Liz Cheney, and Nikki Haley at 2%. On the other side of the aisle, we have 72% of Democrat or Democratic-leaning independents surveyed. In the poll said that if the primary was held today, they'd vote for Joe Biden to represent the Democratic ticket in 2024. 20% of those respondents, however, said they'd opt to vote for someone else, while 8% stated they'd simply not vote. The news from the political poll is perhaps a boon for the U.S. Uh, president who just this week docked in a dismal approved rating of just 38 percent. In that poll conducted by SSRS, I don't know what that is, um, and released yesterday by CNN, it placed Mr. Biden's numbers as actually slumping to one point lower than what his predecessor and potential challenger in 2024 had in July of 2018. So I sum all of that up to say, I don't know if President Trump, previous President Trump, is trying to enroll, I'm not enroll, 
Lord have mercy, is trying to uh, run for president? I sure hope not. Now, because I'm saying that doesn't mean that I'm necessarily on the side of our current president. You guys already know how I feel because I tell you that every single day, every time we have this conversation, I don't identify with either side. I'm not independent, liberal, progressive, moderate, uh, Republican or Democratic. I am me and I'm going to speak to the things that are in line with what I believe as a human being is the best for everybody as a whole, if that makes any sense. I have to say that statement several times because I've had people come in the comments and try to label me as one way or the other or the other, and then threaten to um, unsubscribe to my channel because they think that I am liberal or they think that I am a Democratic or whatever the case may be. I don't identify with none of that. And you guys already know, I don't really particularly care too much for politicians i think they're all full of cock -a -doo -doo -doo, uh if that makes any sense they're there to uh i don't even know I, I couldn't even begin to give you guys a logical explanation why we even have politicians in office because it, to me it just seems like a big headache and it seems like more harm is done than any good so with that being said i am not going to continue to talk you guys ear off i'm going to give you the emergency snap maximum benefits as of today now i'm not going to give you the payout dates okay next video we will do that but if there are any additional states that have been approved as of today then you'll know so Starting at the top, emergency SNAP maximum benefits for the month of August. We have Alabama, Alaska, California, Colorado, Connecticut, Delaware, D.C., Guam, Hawaii, Illinois, Kansas, Louisiana, Maine, Maryland, Massachusetts, Michigan, Nevada, New Jersey, New Mexico, New York, North Carolina, Oklahoma, Ohio, Oregon, Pennsylvania, Rhode Island, South Carolina, Texas, Utah, Vermont, Virginia, the Virgin Islands, Washington, West Virginia, and Wisconsin. All right, you guys, as always, I hope this information was in some way helpful or useful to you guys in the least little bit. Do me a favor if you haven't already. Don't forget to smash that like button because it really does help to let YouTube know that you like what I'm doing and you want me to stick around. Also, don't forget to check out the description box as I will have some links where you can try Amazon Prime for 30 days free on me as well as a link for my beauty and lifestyle channel, which is Live, Love, Elevate 2. And on that note, I'm going to say remember to live, love, elevate, stay cool, stay hydrated because it's been a past it's been a struggle over here for me and my fam but on that note i'll see you guys in the next video peace out